Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, guys. Hello. Good Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Hey, hey there. Good evening. How you doing? Hi, it's great thank to you. see you How again. Are you? I guess I'm doing fine. I guess I'm doing just fine. Just make sure I'm checking something here. Okay, there you go. So good evening, everybody. Great to see you. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, I see a lot of faces I know. Give me one sec. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, Rafael, great to see you. Hi, Mary. Thanks a lot for joining. I see Claudia there. Hi, Claudia. Great to see you. Hi, Daniel, teacher. good evening. Uh, I see Susana there. Good evening, Susana. Carlos, thanks a lot for joining as well. Uh, Krisha is coming. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening, guys. How you doing? Is everything good? Are you having a, a nice, well, I don't know, day, week? We haven't like seen each other quite in quite some time. So tell me a little bit about what you've been doing. Give me like some update. Are you doing well? Probably, maybe. <laughs> Carlos, yes, of course. I saw your, you opened your microphone. Go ahead, Carlos. Tell us, give us a little bit of update. Excuse me, teacher. So how are you doing? How are you doing, Carlos? Is everything okay? Is everything good? Oh, yes, teacher. Nice, nice to hear that. Give me one sec. I saw my camera was like um, flickering. So I'm not sure if it is my internet. So Sophia, amazing to see you. Super great to have you back. Edwin, Hello. good evening. Hello guys, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you back. Christina, good evening. How you doing, guys? Uh, are you ready to get started? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you like, uh, whatever? <laughs> so tell me something. <laughs> okay. Uh, say, how do you feel? Are you doing all right? I'm so excited for start this uh, new mo mo model. Yeah. And I hope, <laughs> I hope that uh, I... I have a great time with all of us, with yes. all of you. <laughs> and I want to learn a lot of. <laughs> nice, great to hear that. I'm so happy to hear you back. <laughs> okay, so Claudia, thank you. thank you so much. I'm super excited guys to get started with this uh, module. I'm definitely looking forward to working with you. Uh, to listen to your stories, listen to your experiences, and uh, and of course uh, to to hear a little bit about your improvement that you feel that you're improving every single day. I know that the class time is really limited. We only have like one hour. Probably you'll feel that it is not enough, but we will make it work. So that is uh, by the end of the day what matters, right? Uh, that we can make it work. And that you feel that you're, um, you are improving as well. Um, I see some names, uh, so I'm, I am not quite familiar with. So Mary, I'm not sure if you were with the group before, or is this your first module? Daniel, I don't remember your face, so probably, I don't know, tell me guys, uh, is this the first uh, module you're joining? Um, uh, did you meet uh, in, at some point? I see Azucena as well, but I don't remember Azucena. So I don't know, guys, you can give us like some, some input there. Can, can you tell us guys a, a little bit about yourself, Daniel? Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, my name is Daniel Castro, and yes, this is my first time uh, joining the, the, the season of English with you. Oh, okay. Uh, did you study English recently? Uh, were you, I don't know, tell, tell us a little bit about your, your background. 
um, not really. I study English uh, a lot of years ago, but I, I have forgotten because with that practice, I forgot that. And oh. this is the time to start again. Oh, nice. Amazing. Okay. Well, uh, from what I heard, I think that you communicate quite well. You said definitely. So um, sometimes when we, uh, when, because of the lack of practice, so we tend to forget words, which is totally normal in this scenario. But, but I'm happy to hear like you communicate quite nicely. So that is really good. Mary, Susanna, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, girls? I see Christina there. Yes, Christina, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, hi. Hi. Hi there. Good evening. How you doing? Hi, good evening. I'm fine. Uh, how are you? I'm doing great. Christina, is this the first time you are joining us? Uh, yes, it's my first time. Okay, uh, so welcome. Thank you. Tell, tell us a little bit about you, Christina. Like, give us some general uh, info about yourself. Uh, okay, I am Christina Escobar. I work in Confecciones del Valle. Oh, okay. uh, I I married. I have a daughter. Okay. Uh, my, my daughter is four years old. All right. Nice. Thanks a lot, Christina. Nice meeting you. Uh, nice to meet you too. All right. So we got Christina. We got Daniel. Daniel's camera is gone. Okay. Mary. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Is this the first time you are with us, Maria, Miss Ma Amaya? Is this the first mojo? Um, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. I am new to the course. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. My name is Maria de los Angeles. Okay. Um, but everyone wants me, Marielos. Oh, you're Marielos. Okay. Okay, um, <laughs> I was I was waiting because I, I thought study, it was the internet. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. I study I study English two years years, years ago. ago. Okay. Uh, I am I am I don't work. Okay. Are you a housewife? I don't work and what? Are, are you a housewife? Like, like uh, you stay at home? No. And no. Okay. Um, I am married. All right. Um, uh, I live in, in Soyapango. Oh, okay. With my, with my children and my mother. Okay. Uh, my husband live in United States. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I am 42 years old. Oh, nice. All right. So, Marielos, you say, right? So, thanks a lot, Marielos. That is, like, really nice. Thanks a lot for sharing this information. I like the way you communicate. So I like like all the information you shared. So thanks a lot for that. Uh, I am having a Susana. Oh, Susana, I love your hair. <laughs> Hi, Susana, <laughs> Thank good evening. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, I good evening. I <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. I guess uh, I'm just excited, you know. I get really excited too. when it is that, <laughs> like a new module, even though I know some of the guys that are here, I'm always like very excited because it's like new topic, new people, new experiences. And I love listening to you all guys. Asusena, tell me about, tell us about you. Tell, give us like a piece of information about yourself. 
Okay, I'm glad uh, to stay with, with this group in this course. Um, I'm not a new student because I study, I was studying uh, in the previous um, model, the okay. model uh, two. Oh, okay. And the reason um, what I um, decide to, 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 to study okay. in, in this course is um, because some years ago, many years ago, um, I, I was studying English, but I almost forgot <laughs> everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yes. because uh, we, um, I didn't practice uh, so much. Um, I study business administration at the oh. university. And now um, I'm not working because I take care of my uh, my child. He is um, five years old and also I am pregnant. Ah, congrats. <laughs> and that's the reason um, that sometimes I prefer to um, turn off the, the camera because I'm, I'm not feel so good. But Okay. Um, Got it. I'm I'm married, and right. um, now I'm a housewife. Okay. Um, um, I'm glad to 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 stay in this group, and I hope to to learn a lot about English. Now, and we are like very uh, excited and happy to have you here, especially that you have uh, retaken right this course. Uh, or the, the classes uh, that you decided to join and the, and it's very like normal it's part of the process that we normally forget uh, some how to how to say something or when we get fluency and we stop practicing we lose some fluency but don't worry these guys are amazing they love uh, giving examples, they love participating. So I am pretty sure guys that you will feel um, very uh, welcome yeah, in the group. So let me see, I think I got like some more people. Silvia, good evening, great to have you. And Noemi, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, I got Irving, hi Irving, good evening. Great to have you guys, all right. Uh, I think Monica is joining as well. Okay, guys, I just got like a little question for you. Uh, this module finished, if I'm not wrong, two weeks ago, right? Module number two finished like two weeks ago. Um, have you been practicing? Have you been studying by any chance? Or like, or the module is done, no homework. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> so have you reviewed, have you practiced, have you listened to some videos or not at all? Like being honest to yourself. Not at all. <laughs> I saw your faces like, oops. <laughs> okay, not a problem. <laughs> that is totally fine. Okay. Now, uh, just a question. Um, is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Did everybody join the group? Yes. yes. You're there? Okay. So, Azucena, Marielos, are you there? Cristina, are you in the group as well? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Super, super nice. Now, second question. Uh, did everybody check if you already got access to the platform? Did you check that you have intermediate number three uh, ready and available for you? Yes. Yes, yes I, I did. check and yes. it's available. Yes. Super. Okay. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so in that case, we Sorry. can get it started with part of the topic. If you haven't done it yet, I would recommend you like to do it because for tomorrow, we are going to complete activity number one, especially because you know, every topic, well, every module has, is getting like a little bit more complicated and more complicated and new things, new topics. So we are going to try to um, not, for example, if this is week number one of classes, we are going to try to complete exactly the activities that are on this week or more if possible. So we are not going to complete the exercises two or three days later, 
because we will forget it. <laughs> um, so we are going to try to catch up with everything and every activity. So uh, being said that, to get started, I have a little activity to get started. We are going to review some verbs. So I want you to get a piece of paper, get a pencil, get a pen, whatever is at hand. Not a computer uh, because it is going to take too much time, but like something handy or your cell phone, I think it's okay, right? If you are not connected from your phone, that can work. But you will have to like do it like pretty, pretty quick, all right? So guys, we are going to review verbs. I'm going to give you one verb, irregular verb, and I'm going to give you like five seconds, 10 seconds maximum, so you can write the past and the past participle form of the verb, okay? Like super, super quick. Uh, I'll give you the verb, I'll give you 10 seconds to write both, and then we continue with the next and with the next. If you don't remember, it's perfect. That's okay, not a problem. Leave the space and you just continue. Okay, let's see how many you can remember. Uh, please guys, tell me when you are ready. So let me know when you have a piece of paper, when you have your notebook ready or your pen ready. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Uh, what about the rest guys? Is everybody ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. Nice. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, uh, again, for example, if I give you the verb get, so I will tell you get, you have 10 seconds to write past in past participle form. Don't give me the answer, just write it down and then we continue. And then I'll give you the next and the next and the next and so forth, okay? So uh, you are not supposed to use dictionaries. You're not supposed to use a book. Just try to remember, okay? Um, but if you don't, again, if you don't remember, it's okay. You know, uh, there's no problem about it. It's just a little refresh, you know, for this topic. So, bird number one. The first one, guys, come. Remember, write the past, write the past participle. I did. Okay. Verb number two. <laughs> Let's go with the second. Build, like, like building. Build. Next one. Verb number three. Hit, like when you hit somebody. So hit. H I T. Hit. Bird number four, eat. Eat. Like eat a hamburger, eat some pupusas, eat a snack. So eat. Ten seconds. Eight. Bird number five, give. Like when it's a birthday and you give a present, you give gift, so give. Bird number six, send, like you send a, pack a, a package, you send a letter, so you send a text, send. Uh, next one, number seven. So number seven is teach. 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 Teach.
like I am a teacher, I teach, right? So what is the past and the past participle? Verb number eight. Say, like tell, right? So say, I say, you say, they say, so say. Okay, and the last one that we are going to use is the bird make. Oops, sorry. So that is the bird make. Okay, guys, so let's check it together. All right, question one. Como les fue, guys? <laughs> How was it? How many do you remember out of nine? One, two, easy, difficult. How was the exercise? Did you remember most of them? Did you remember one or two? How many do you remember? Only six. Only six. Okay, that's a good number. That's okay. <laughs> Hi, Monica. Great to see you. <laughs> okay, so Great only six. Hi. Hi there. Okay, what about the rest? How many guys? Just a couple of books. Okay, of just both. a couple of, okay, just a couple of them. All right. So now help me guys with the past and past participle of them. If I use, for example, come, what would came. be past and past participle? It has a come, came, and? Come. Okay, and come, all right. Daniel, help me with the second, please, build. Um, in that case, that I forgot to come. Oh, no problem, that's okay. Does anybody have the second? Build. Okay, very good. We only change one letter, that is letter D, right? So we write letter T instead. Okay, so build, built, and built. Hit, who has the third one? Hit? Hit. Hit. The same, exactly. So that would be the same. What about eat? Eat. Eight. 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 And? Eight. And eaten, exactly. So eaten or eaten, whatever, eaten. either way, right? Eaten or eaten, okay. Uh, give, what about give? Give. Give and, uh -huh, given. given. There you go. Give, yeah. gave, given. Send. This is easy, I think. Only one word changes. Send. 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 Exactly. So send, sent, and sent. Okay. Teach. Oh, oh that word oh. is hard. Oh. Okay. Yes, exactly. So yeah. teach. Taught and taught, all right? Careful with touch. <laughs> so teach, taught, and taught. Okay, there you go. Say, what about say? Seb. 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 Okay, so seb, like, oh, you wanna drink something in Spanish? So seb, exactly. Say, said, and said. And the last one that is make? Made. 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 Making. Okay, so made and the same, make made and made so it is exactly the same i'm going to copy these ones because we are going to use them in the next activity we are going to be doing today's topic guys is passive voice which is like oh my god what's that <laughs> so i'm going to present to you one picture and i want you to take a look at it because we are going to identify right uh, what's going on here? So look at this picture, guys, and tell me. Number one, who hits? In this picture, who is the guy hitting for, out of the three of them? Who do you think? No one. No one? Uh, who do you think is winning? 
no. The guy in the middle. The guy in the middle. Would you say him? Okay. So and yes. look at the last question. Mm -hmm. Who receives any damage? Out of the three, who do you think is like the victim in here? No. <laughs> no one. But like the three of them are having a fight, right? Like a physical fight. But if you have to say, oh, this poor him, you know. So this guy is having a really bad time. Um, the, the guy who smiles, I think. The guy who smiles. Maybe the first one. Yeah. This Play. one, the guy in the corner. No, the yeah. Yeah. The, the guy who has a uh, black tie. The the guy uh, this oh with the black tie. This one. Yes. Okay, so he would be the victim. This uh, I see they are play. Oh well, <laughs> probably we don't really know, but let's say that they are fighting okay <laughs> so somebody said that the victim here is the guy with the black tie i think that could definitely happen so um and coming back this one says who hits passive voice is really interesting because we use it all the time in every single scenario but i'm not going to focus in the person who is doing the action i'm going to focus in the victim I'm going to happen like I'm going to focus in the action itself. All right. So um, he hits. I don't care about him. I am going to care about him because he's my victim. So this person is like pushing him, right? Um, this person. What else is going on to him? Yeah, like pushing him, probably hitting him. What else? What else is he suffering? What can you tell me? Just that? No. I think the victim is the man with the black, with the black t-shirt. No. no. Uh, with the black shirt, the like who? This one in the middle? Yes, for, for the expression. Oh. For the expression like this. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very interesting expression. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's give let's give them some names, right? I think it could be easier for us. Okay. And also so we can get some ideas here. Can you give me a name for this guy in, in with the black uh, tie? Any name, any name that comes to your mind. Give me a name Ricardo. for Ricardo. Okay, so this is going to be Ricardo. Ricardo, uh, give me a name for this guy in the middle, please. Charlie. Charlie. Okay, so Charlie, Charlie. And give me a name for this other guy uh, on the corner. David. Okay, David is just fine. Perfect. Oh, this was Charlie, not that one. Okay, hold on. So, okay, I got this. So Ricardo, Charlie, and David. Now, I think this is going to be a little easier. Again, um, I think that Ricardo is a victim. So I'm not going to focus on Charlie or Dave. If you believe that David is the victim, so you are not going to focus in, Car in Charlie and Ricardo. So how can I express this idea? I want to say, oh, poor Ricardo, lo están golpeando. How can I say that in English? How can I say, lo están empujando? right? Lo están golpeando. Lo están maltratando. How can I express all of those ideas? Because I'm, because I'm going to focus on the victim. So I'm going to use passive voice to express these ideas. How am I going to do it? First, I'm going to write the structure and then we try to follow, okay? First, I'm going to use subject. I'm going to use verb B and then I'm going to use the past participle of the verb you want to use. So I want to say that poor Ricardo, he's a good boy, but he 
uh, is, or he was, let's say, I, I want to use past today. So he was hit. Oh, look at this, look at the sentence. I'm not saying Charlie hit him because I don't care about Charlie and I don't care about David. I care about Ricardo. So he was hit. What do you understand in Spanish, guys? What do you understand when you listen, he was hit? El fue golpeado. Exactly, el fue golpeado. That is the point. I'm not saying Ricardo hit somebody. No, I'm saying he was hit, all right? So, ¿qué más le pasó a Ricardo? What else happened to this guy? So, Ricardo was, uh, I, I think, kind of push, all right? So, he was pushed, right? So, Charlie was hang angry. angry. Yeah, definitely, yes. So he was angry, but the one who received the action, I think, is Ricardo. So he was pushed, all right? He was hit. He was hit. He was pushed. What else? Any other idea that you want to add here? So what happened to Ricardo? Remember that Ricardo is the victim. So he was... Ricardo lied to hit. No. Ricardo que... lied to Charlie. O oh, oh, a él le mintieron. No. Que le gusta que le peguen. He lied to... <laughs> well, I don't... We can express that, but the idea is going to be more elaborated. <laughs> so he likes to be hit. Yeah, I can also say that. So he likes to be hit. And I can use this, and okay. thank you for the example, because I can modify this, and I can, I can change it. For example, Ricardo likes to be hit, right? So, ya uh, pasó, no sé. This is like uh, violence and everything, but okay. So Ricardo likes to be, to be hit. Probably, le gusta que lo empujen. So he likes to be pushed, okay. Le gusta que lo maltraten. He likes to be mistreated. So mistreat. No so he's maltrato, right? I don't know. I don't think this is possible, but okay. Yes, yes. So I heard Sophia someone's was... voice. Yeah. Yeah, so Sofia was having a different way to see the things. I totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So let's... He was, he was taken by the face. Oh, he was taken. All right, so he was taken by, by his face or by the face. Okay, yeah. Anything else you want to? His, my keyboard is not working. Okay, what else would you like to add? What is the meaning that he was taking by his face? Uh, sure. Remember that this is passive. So when you co when you combine this structure, you are not saying que él tomó algo, sino que él fue tomado. So this guy, Charlie, uh -huh. is holding him. Uh-huh. Is holding him by his face. So he was taken by his face. Or for example, when somebody does this to your, to your clothes, oh, I was taken by my blouse or by the hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was taken by the hair. Uh -huh. So we can use these expressions. Okay. Okay, guys. Now it's time to be victims for two minutes. Okay. I want you to think about activities that have happened to you. Not things that you have done, but like some circumstances in which you have been the victim. For example, uh, one day, let me just erase this. So for example, one, um, like two weeks ago, I was playing soccer and I have braces, but I was hit by a boy. So I was hit by, by a soccer ball and, and my lip got super swollen. That was bad. <laughs> so I, I was hit by a ball, right? I was the victim here. Guys, what has happened to you in which you have been the victim? 
So where do you scream, for example? Where you yelled at? So we are going to use I was because you are the victim in this case. And remember to use the past participle of the verb you want to use. For example, um, my neighbor was angry at me. So I was jailed by my neighbor, all right? I was jealous. So my neighbor was like, Julie, what are you doing? Are you listening to music? So jail is a speaking loud, right? So I was jailed, all right? So what about you guys? I'm going to give you like three minutes so you can write your ideas, okay? Something you would like to share, of course, and in which, remember, you were the victim. So we can say, for example, I was fired, right? So like your boss says, you live a bike. I don't want you here. You speak too much, okay? So I was fired. My boss says bye-bye or the opposite. I was hired. My boss says, oh, welcome. Welcome to this new company. So I was fired. I was hired, okay? I was uh, invited, right? So when someone invites you to a party, so I was invited to a party, I was invited to an event. So remember somebody else, somebody else did it, all right? Three minutes, guys. I'll give you three minutes, write your examples, and then we share. If you have questions, if this is a little complicated for you, let me know and we can, uh, we can help you with examples. One more minute. How many teacher? About, about. 
you can. If you can make <laughs> 20, if you can make 20, that would be beautiful. But if you can make two or three, it's okay. So as many as you can get, uh -huh, as many as you can get. That is just fine. <laughs> I saw that was only one. <laughs> I was oh, only one. No. <laughs> oh, but I don't worry. That. You can improvise. <laughs> so you always have the chance to come with more, you know, so that's okay. Six. Guys, is everybody doing fine? Are you having any difficulty? Are you all right? Do you need some help? Nobody? Okay. The scene is combined uh, was with another um, the past participle of verb? Uh, yes, I moment. mean, you can use the same or you can modify it. That would be okay. But I need to use was. It is necessary to include verb to be. Yes. It is necessary. Uh, so always, it, well, sorry. right now we are going to use past. So we are going to include I was. Mm -hmm. For all of them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Okay, guys, can you share a couple of your examples? What do you have? Mm. I think sí. I'm already finished. You have already finished? Yeah. Okay. I Perfect. only have three. Oh, okay. Can you give us your examples, please? Can you read them out, okay. out loud? Mm -hmm. I was hit by a basketball player. Oh, okay. I was pushed getting a line. Okay. And I was yelled by my sister. Oh, that is a really bad sister. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for sharing that. Okay, anybody else? Me, teacher. Yes, please go ahead. I was wet by my neighbor before I went to my office. Oh, okay. I was deflate the tire by a big club. Oh, all right. Uh, that's Just it? that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Yeah, I was waiting like, uh -huh, what is <laughs> Okay, nice, thanks a lot. Anybody else? Me teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, he was busy yesterday. Okay. Uh, I was I was crying for my ex girlfriend. Oh, okay. It's terrible. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> uh, to hear that. Uh, I was in the chair. Mm -hmm. Um, he was skating when I was young. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I see. I I hear that you use a. Uh, was which is beautiful now let's try to think about activities that happened to you but somebody else did them over you all right so for example uh, i'm sorry i'm going to take the example of your ex all right <laughs> i'm sorry if that hurts your feelings but i want to add the extra lemon to the wound <laughs> okay so for example we have like i was uh, I was crying, I think you mentioned. So I was crying uh, because of my ex. Okay, because of my ex. All right. So what can your ex uh, have done to you? So you can be crying, okay? So I can say, for example, I was hurt, all right? So she hurt me or he hurt me, but I was hurt, okay? So I was, what else? Teacher, yes. And if I say I was cheated by my boyfriend, oh, that's a very nice example, <laughs> but but a good example. <laughs> okay, I was cheated on exactly, exactly. 
So I like this example because of what it means. I mean, grammatically, not because you know what happened, <laughs> but exactly. So I was hurt. I was cheated on. And she mentioned by, all right, by my ex, which is extra information. Sometimes you need the by. Sometimes it is not necessary because you understand that it is your ex or your current, I don't know. So we can omit this and it is it is still has some meaning. So I was hurt, I was cheated on, all right? Thank you, and I'm sorry, Adrian. <laughs> okay, um, any other example, guys? Who has more examples? Give us more, give us more. I see Carlos like, I have these, but I'm not sure. Go, Carlos, <laughs> go, Maria Luz. Is it, I was pushed in the bus. I was, oh, pushed, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I was um I was of the grace ultrajado of the grace uh when you say ultrajada you mean like que alguien le dijo malas palabras like somebody mm -hmm. ultrajado okay. mm, I would use mistreated I would use I'm gonna write it in the chat so it is mistreated I was mistreated Mm -hmm. Treated. Mistreated. Uh, yeah. by, by, a, by a neighbor. Oh, okay. You can use, you can say like, I was mistreated uh, verbally. Uh, I was mistreated physically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, verbally. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was, I was fractured and playing softball. Ah, uh, sorry to hear about that. Okay. Those are really nice examples. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Anybody else? Who's got more examples, guys? Me, teacher. Yes, tell us. I was bullied uh, by my coworker. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry. You were, can you say bullied. that again? Bullied. Oh, bullied. Uh, bullied. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was bad. Uh huh. I passed, uh, okay, I was insulted by other drivers. Okay. And yeah, that happens uh, a lot. <laughs> Where you whistle? Where you whistle? <laughs> Where? Like, like, whistle. Where you whistle? When you are driving, there is this coaster, this bus driver, and yes. they whistle. <laughs> Yeah. Where you whistle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And the last one, uh, my car was hit by another car. That was dental. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Nice examples, guys. I love them. Really nice. Okay. Now I have one exercise that we are going to do together. Well, not together, but in groups. Um. So since we are talking about like some of these things. Uh, give me one sec. Give me one sec. Hold on. My computer is calling for Friday. So I don't know what's wrong with it. Give me just a sec. Oh, what's wrong? Okay. I have some uh, exercises for you to practice this. Guys, um, any question? Is this getting kind of clear? A little, kind of? Just a little clear. Yes, okay. It's okay. clear. Guys, if you, this topic is not difficult, but um, we tend to confuse it. So please, if you have questions, you know, uh, don't hesitate to um, ask it out. Okay, this is the exercise I have for you. We are going to try first to make these sentences, the ones that you have in the screen, to make them into passive, okay? So, uh, this is easy. In English, there are two tenses, active and passive. Number one says, she bought four apples. I don't care about she. Uh, we won the match. I don't care about we, okay? I care about the action. So how am I going to switch this into passive, all right? So easy. First of all, uh, let's take a look at number one. She bought four apples. 
there is a question that we are going to use. And that is what? What did she buy? So what will be the answer? What did she buy? She bought four she apples. Buy four apples. Okay. Four apples. Ah, so four apples is going to be your, the subject of your sentence. In passive voice, because in passive voice, we are going to switch it up. Okay, we won the match. What did we win? The match. Okay, the match. The match. Okay, and so that is like step number one. Okay, now I'm going to use very B because remember we have subject, uh, subject, there to be, right? Uh, verb to be can be present or past, and then the past participle. So we need here verb to be for apples. Was or were? Were. Were. Hmm? were. The match was or were? Was. Was. Oh, we are making sentences already. And then we are going to use the verb from the original sentence. For apples, where? What is the past participle of by? Both. 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 Okay, exactly. So she bought four apples is exactly the same as four apples were bought. The same. I can include by she. Yes, you don't need it, but you can add by she. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm making a mistake here. It wouldn't be she. Hold on. So, Okay, so because I am going to put this at the end of the sentence, I'm going to use by her, no, but by she. I don't, I cannot use that. Okay, the match was, what is the past participle of win? Win, won, and? Yeah, two. One. One. One, exactly. So the match was one. If I want to use by, I can say we, I am going to use the corresponding pronoun. In this case, that would be us. So by her, by us, by me, by him, by them, all right, by it, etc. So I'm going to use the pronouns at the end. Uh, do you think you can complete a couple of them? I'm going to give you some. So now let's do this. Okay, boys, boys in the class. I'm going to split uh, this in genders. So boys, I want you to complete uh, from this line, uh, like this one, this, 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 and this. And girls, I want you to complete the ones that are below the line, please. Let's make it work. We have a couple of minutes. So just remember, follow the structure and it will be easy. Subject, but the subject is going to be the what. She bought four apples, what did she buy? We won the match, what did we win? The man stole the car, what was stolen? Tom and Max ate five hamburgers. Que se comieron, what did they eat? And you start from that point, okay? Guys, questions, please let me know. If I'm going too fast, let me know too. We have like four minutes to do it.
two more minutes. Okay, guys, are we ready? Is everybody ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Was everybody able to complete it? Did you have any difficulty? Was it easy? Was it difficult? A little? I think that the difficult is easy. if you try to remember the verbs. Okay, <laughs> that's a very nice point. <laughs> I completely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the problem is birds then. Yes. Oh, okay, 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 no problem. So we're going to be reviewing birds in that case. Okay, so let's just share like super quick the answers that you have. I actually have like a homework assignment for tomorrow, but give me one second. Let's start just uh, sharing this super quick. Okay, uh, what about the man stole, stole the blue car? Who has this one? The man stole the blue car. Anybody who wants to help us? Uh, me, the teacher. Blue, okay. <laughs> the blue car was stolen mm -hmm. by the men. Very nice. Okay, sounds amazing. What about the next one? The police arrested the thieves. The thieves were arrested to the police. Oh, the very police. nice. Okay. We can include by, by the police, but right. it wouldn't be necessary. Hi, Corey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suddenly, I, I, I was like, wait, I know that voice. Okay. <laughs> so the thieves were arrested by the police. Okay, nice. Uh, Jack swam the 200 meters. Who has this one? Yes, no, I mean, meet sure. sure. Oh, yes, Carlos, uh, give us the answer and then we will have no, I mean. mm -hmm. the 2000 meters mm -hmm. was was a swoon, a swoon mm -hmm. um, oh. by his. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would work. Do you have the same answer? Or do you have a different answer? Mm. The, the 200 meters were swam by Jack. All right. Uh, yeah, the only thing I would change probably is because this is plural, so the 200 meters were, uh -huh, were swam. But the rest is just amazing. The rest is perfect. Thank you. Noemi, uh, the dog beat the old lady? I'm not sure, but. No I, worries. I, I Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The old lady was beaten by the dog. Very nice, yes. By big beaten, exactly. So have you ever been beaten? All right. Uh, let's go with the next one. Tom and Max ate five hamburgers. Who has it? Yes, please. Five hamburgers were eaten by Tom and Max. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Sounds really good. Let's go with Oliver. Oliver taught the children. Children were taught by Oliver. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Victoria rode the brown, the brown horse. What about this one? I have it. Perfect. Go for it, Susana. The brown house 
was written by Victoria. Oh, very nice. Okay. I would just change the word like write, wrote, and written. <laughs> I would just change reading. the word written, but the rest is perfect. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. That is yes, amazing. Right. <laughs> and the last one, guys, grandmother told good stories. Who has this one? Me? Yes, please. Good stories were told by my grandmother. Okay, amazing, exactly. So good, the stories were told by my grandmother. Thank you guys, and very nice job, exactly. So that is the passive voice. Now, the homework for tomorrow is this one. I want you to take a picture, all right? Take a picture of this, please. Um, and uh, just try to complete them super quick. Whenever you have five minutes, no les va a tomar más tiempo. So read them, try to understand them, try to answer them, y las comparamos mañana. So we will be comparing this tomorrow. Please take a picture. That will be a uh, fast story. Oh, that's right, guys. <laughs> solo les quiero confirmar ese detalle porque no estoy segura si vamos a tener la clase de mañana. Déjenme confirmar eh, porque uh, como creo que nos vamos a Semana Santa, hay un pequeño cambio por ahí. Pero permítanme, les confirmo y les voy a escribir al grupo, all right? Gracias, okay. chicos. Un verdadero placer estar con ustedes, verlos nuevamente, conocer a los nuevos. Nos vemos el día de mañana. En todo caso, hagamos la tarea y avancemos con la plataforma, please. Okay, bye, teacher. guys. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, I cannot close. Thank you. See you. See you. <laughs>